All right, here's my response to the sanity machine. He has made, I believe over 600 videos by now and a lot of good content. I've been a sub for quite a while. He hasn't been a YouTuber for too long. Um, but I, um, you know, I've watched a lot of his videos, got some good perspectives. This is my response to him. He, you know, he mentioned me and some of the comments that I had left some questions I had, which were valid questions. So I'm just going to respond. You guys can make up your own mind. Here we go. All right. That's what they said before somebody cr swam across the Great Lakes. I know they didn't swim across the widest part. They chose the most narrow part they could. I realized that. Okay. As a kid, I didn't realize that when I heard it on radio, but you know, I realized that. There's a lot of things that they say, nobody's ever done that. What makes you think you can do that? Well, for one thing, we're not all equal. We're not all the same. So who are you comparing me to? I don't know what I'm capable of. And somebody said they watched over 200 of my, of my videos and then they left a dumb comment like that. <laughs> well, that was me. I watched over 200 of his videos and I have. I've watched so many hours of his videos. A lot of the stuff I already knew already, but it's really just getting a different perspective. Um, and he said I left a dumb comment, but he didn't actually state the comment that I left. Uh, he didn't actually, you know, it was a question and he didn't answer it. You watched that many of my videos and then you didn't think before your first comment, you made yourself. Yeah, he likes to make assumptions. Like I didn't think before I made the comment. Of course I did. Why would I have asked the question? I was thinking about it. I thought about it for quite a while. Um, you know, and I was just interested to see his thoughts. He does bring up a lot of things that in depth, you know, and, 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 and really has a good take on it, gives a lot of good evidence. Um, but then he doesn't really talk much about that. So, um, you know, that's why I'm glad that he, you know, he is talking about a little bit now, Mount Everest, uh, the Great Lakes, a lot of the things that humans, you know, have, have developed themselves to, uh, you know, attain this achievement. Um, but my take on that is it's interesting, you know, it's not really the apples to apples, you know, Mount Everest, you can point to it and say, Hey, I'm going to climb that mountain. You know, I'm going to go swim across that lake. Um, you know, there's the goal and, um, set match. You just go do it, you know, and, and you can see it. You can't see, you can't see the, um, what it's going to be like in the astral realm. You know, there's the memory wipe. Um, you don't know when you're outside, like, you know, what it's going to be like when you're outside of it. So the analogies he's making, I think are kind of weak, to be honest, it's a lot more complex and there's a lot of, a lot of thinking that goes into it and a lot of intuition that is hard to put into words. It's not as simple as like, well, you know, you know, humans have, you know, uh, obtained great achievements. Uh, when the, the odds were against them. Well, we're not, you know, we're not humans. We're not these physical bodies. It's a completely different thing. But we'll continue. Look stupid. And then you accuse me of deleting your comment. And then you accuse me of deleting your comment. That's another thing he does too, is he has a tendency to, um, to accuse others of doing the same thing he does. He does it all the time. Um, and actually to, to answer that, I asked him the question. This was the question. I said, I do believe we have power, but if so, don't you think someone would have ended the matrix already would have already ended it. Um, and then, you know, then he comes back and says, well, don't you think, do you not have any original thoughts? And I'm paraphrasing and I have to say that because he could, he's going to point out that like, oh, I didn't say that. And this and that. So you got to be very specific with this person. Um, fair question. Very fair question. Uh, meant nothing, no harm by it. Uh, was not uh, accusing him of anything. I did it. I will say this. I will come clean. And this is because I'm honest. I'm an honest person. I would like him to come clean about some things. We'll see if that happens. Um, so yeah, maybe I did accuse him because I had four or five comments that did not show up in his feed in his comments section. So after four or five comments, I'm kind of like, yeah, I think 
you know, you might have banned me. And he did. If, you know, four or five comments, it's not like I'm putting like, you know, key words in there. None of my comments get deleted. So that doesn't make any sense. And he's just accusing me of doing things he's doing himself. And saying, hmm, I don't know why you got rid of my comment. Well, I didn't get rid of your fucking comment. Well, yeah, dude, if you weren't so, and he's going to say later about how I call him dude. Well, he's being rude. He's being disrespectful to his followers and people who are asking good questions. To, he's, he's being disrespectful to good spirits. Now, later on, he does say, I give him credit for this. He calls me a character, not a creature. So I'm not a creature yet, but I'm going to be a creature after this one. I bet you that right now. Still there for me to see. Maybe that's YouTube. Maybe you're paranoid and you're accusatory. And you made yourself look stupid. Once again, he's gonna he's gonna accuse you of what he is. He's clearly paranoid. If you you listen to his videos, especially this one, many of his videos, he's very paranoid. He's always like worried about what other people are thinking, what other people are saying. He's always playing like he's the tough guy. It's it's just it's really getting old, and it's like it's obvious. Stupid, and you made me lose respect for you by what you wrote. Well, dude, you didn't have respect for me in the first place. Why would you have respect? You don't know me. You make no sense. You didn't have to do that. I didn't make you do that. You chose to do that. You chose to make yourself look stupid. Dumb. No, you're no, you're making yourself look stupid. Clearly, I asked the question. I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to repeat it. This is a fair question. I do believe we have power, but if so, do you think and I didn't, you know, it's like, "Hey, do you think someone, you know, may have ended it already?" And the reason you know, I, I said it like that was because he never talks about it. I mean, I've watched over 200, maybe even 300 videos, probably about half his videos. He's never done a video on it. That's why I asked the question. If he had done videos about it and gone into the, in, you know, his insight on that, his intuitions, then, you know, I wouldn't have asked it. He would have already answered it already. So that's why I asked the question. And it's because I was thinking about it. And I'm like, well, you know, I've been around for, you know, over 30 years now. Um, and... You know, in the last 30 years, nobody has, because I would assume that I would have, have have ascended out of this place. I would not be here anymore if someone was able to do it. I thought about it when I, when my physical body dies and, uh, you know, I destroy the matrix. Then, you know, like people that I know, you know, if I, if I had children, you know, they would be able to get out. And there's a really a lot of complex thoughts and ideas to this. And it's kind of like, well, would they have you know, how is, how do you select? What's the selection process of who gets out, who stays in and all this stuff? Or is it an individual thing? And who gives him the right to free uh, spirits? Who gives him the right to uh, make a choice for another individual? So it's like, there's a lot of questions to ask here and he's not, not going over it. And that's why I'm glad he's doing this and he's, he's explaining a little bit, but I just, you know, it's just not quite enough for me. Not enough detail, not enough like complexity. Move. And then I click on your name and your channel's full of NASCAR videos from three, four, five years ago. So just three years ago, you're making video after video about fucking NASCAR. Oh, here we go. So he's gonna give you another F bomb again. You know, he's just gonna continue to swear. I'm gonna try not to swear. I'm gonna do my best. Um, but yeah, he brings up the, the NASCAR thing and it's interesting because it was three and a half years ago. And, um, you know, I'm fairly new at this. I'm not going to say that I've been doing this as long as he have. I'm not as old as he is. I'm young. I'm a fast learner. I'm going to give you a little bit of background about my truth seeking. It started quite a while ago, but as most people know, I mean, unless you're the Sandy machine who, when he was born, he knew everything about this realm. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't take that literally Sandy machine. I don't mean it like that. So my, it started with me probably in like 15, 16, I went through the Alex Jones phase, you know, I went through the politics and the lies of all that. And, you know, and the, the news and, you know, big pharma, um, business, all that corporations. So I went through that period of time. Then I went through sort of like a new age thing. I never fully, you know, went for it because it didn't quite add up to me. Um, and then around the time, 2019 at the end of the year. So this was after my last NASCAR video. I'm sorry. I made NASCAR videos. Like, will you forgive me, please? Like, geez. Um, so later in 2019, you know, I became aware of the, uh, the earth not being 
you know, a spinning globe in space hurling around the sun um, in this ever expanding universe. So I, I figured that aspect out. And then we had the, the events of 2020. And then basically from there on, it was about, you know, the secret societies and all that fun stuff. Um, and a lot of the things that he discusses on his channel, which I don't understand why he does. He constantly um, will tell you that this is like beginner stuff. But why are you talking about, it, man? Like, what? why don't you talk about more advanced stuff? Come on. Like, why are you going back down to that level? <laughs> but that's my history. Um, I guess I'm just a fast learner, Sandy Machine. I mean, it took you probably 10, 20 years to get to where I'm at in three. And you're trying to school me? I'm not trying to school you. In this realm? I'm not trying to school you. You're making an assumption like you always do. You accuse everybody else of making assumptions. You're the guy, you're the one who makes assumptions. You're the one who blames others. Like a big baby, like a child. You never grew up, Sandy the Machine. You never grew up. 1990, I was talking about the New World Order and George Bush. Dude, I don't care about 1990, about George Bush. Okay, yeah, and I was in diapers in 1990. Will you forgive me? senior as president i don't even think you were born yet i learned this stuff in like three years dude you it took you 30 or 10 or 20 i'm way faster than you and if you were you're were probably in diapers and just three years ago you were making youtube videos about fucking nascar okay you know the favorite yes yeah, so that's the other thing too he does is he'll you know, that was a channel that, you know, it was kind of like a personal channel. It wasn't, you know, one that I was using to do videos anymore. I left them up there. Some people watched them or whatever. I just really didn't care. Like, I wasn't like, you know, expecting somebody like the Sandy Machine to go, you know, look deeply into my channel. Like from some, what some, some person commented on his channel, like, oh, I got to look at their video and I got to look at their channel and see what videos they do. It's like, dude, he's just trying to, he's just getting ammunition and trying to get dirt or whatever. It's pretty sad. Favorite sport of Hicks. That's what you were doing. Oh yeah. So you can say yeah, that right. you don't like me portraying you like an idiot. Just insults. Well, don't act like one man. How about that? There's levels to this shit. You're not even close to what I'm at. You could say. I'm not even close to what, yeah, I may not be. Who cares? Who cares, dude? What does that make you feel better? You feel like big and tough? What the hell? Man, this is funny. This is great. I mean, you're giving me so much content. This is awesome. I am egotistical. You can say whatever I want. But I clicked on your name. I looked at your channel. I read your comments. Saw what videos you made. That's what level you're at. I don't care what you've done in the past three years. You know, here's the thing. I don't care what you think about me. I could care less. You care about what I think about you and your subscribers or your people who comment. You care what they think. What the hell is that? I think you're not as advanced as you think you are if you care about what some random person or some random individual, some random spirit or whatever you want to call it is saying on your YouTube channel when they're asking fair questions like, um, yeah, don't you think it would be a little bit more difficult to end the matrix and maybe just escape? You know, like I just wanted you to get into that and speak a little bit about it. I didn't say that you couldn't do it. Come on, man. I hope you do. I hope you do it, man. And I'll give you energy to do it. And if you don't do it, I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll do my best. I'll do it. Whatever. We're in this together. We're not, you know, I'll, wait, wait, don't take that the wrong way that we're all in this together. Please. Why don't you go back to making NASCAR videos? You know? Well, because I wouldn't even make NASCAR rigged videos anymore. Cause it's a waste of time. Because if you watch, if you really are truthful and you did watch hundreds of my videos, you must have a low IQ. You must be a toothpaste eater to write a comment like that, accusing me of de deleting. I do like to eat toothpaste. It's delicious. Your stupid comment. You think I fear your stupid fucking comment? If I'm going to delete your comment, I'll just ban you. I'll be just like this. This is a toothpaste. And you eater. did. I don't need this idiot leaving comments, wasting my time accusing me dude you're wasting your own time you could have ignored the comment you could have deleted the comment so what you're making a big deal out of this not me i'm just responding because i want other people to see because i know there's other people out there that you've been rude to people that are, are 
probably good meaning people, well-meaning people that will comment, ask you questions and you respond back like they're dirt. So I'm, this is for those people to show, Hey, you're not the only one. You're not alone. That might think this person has some sort of mental illness. Yeah. Mental illness. Talk about stupid. That is stupid. So anyway, that's an update on that. There's always going to be the toothpaste eaters. So is he going to stop talking about me now? Of course not. Oh, that's, that's that. Or like, I'm done with this video. And then 20 minutes later, he's still rambling on. He can't stop. He's so full of himself. He would say, well, I don't eat fluoride or whatever. Well, then maybe you're just naturally, maybe it's the genetics. You know, blame so now your he's parents. saying I have bad genetics. I mean, it's just all insults. And like I said, all I did was ask a question that he still can't answer. Or do whatever, but whatever the case may be. I think everyone's the same. You're fucked up. You've been programmed by your masters. We're not all the same. We're not all the same in terms of mentality, in terms of intuition, in, te in terms of intelligence, in terms of gifts, in psychic gifts, precognition. Uh, we're not the same spiritually. I don't believe that we're all the same, quote, species of spirit in this realm. I believe there's a lot of differences, a lot of very major differences. So. Yeah, and, and I don't disagree. He's right about that. I think there are a lot of differences. I think there's, you know, a lot of, a lot of um, mind control with, you know, everybody's equal and, you know, basically don't judge a book by its cover. Um, you know, that's just, that's just so obvious to me right now. I mean, you get, when you're around somebody, certain individuals, you just get this vibe. Like, yeah, I don't really want to be around this person. <laughs> There's just something about them. You know, we all get that. We all feel that. And we don't really know how to express it because, you know, we don't want to be written off like some jerk or whatever. And we don't want to be judged. And it's really just forbidden to speak of things like that. And, um, but I do agree with him there. And like I said, he does, uh, you know, give you some, some good truth, you know, for sure. And things to think about. You just saying, well, no one's done it. Like, I mean, that's, that's one of the dumbest things ever. Lots I of idiots. I never said that. I never said no one's done it. That's the thing. Like he's putting words in my mouth. He's just trying, he's just, he's just a big baby. You guys all know that you guys watching this. You guys know that he's a baby. He's, he's, I don't know how old he is. Um, you know, he's probably like late forties, early fifties. You know, he thinks he's going to pass soon or something like he's like, I only have a few years left or whatever. And, you know, keep drinking those, you know, Coke zeros. And, you know, yeah, that's what's going to happen. He doesn't care. Maybe he's just um, so unhealthy that, you know, maybe that's what it is. He hasn't insulated his nerves enough with enough um, animal fat. Um, you know, he doesn't get enough vitamin D. He's just really on edge, very anxious, um, you know, very narcissistic, to be honest. If you look up narcissism which I'm pretty well aware of narcissism. I've had narcissists in my life. Um, and you know, he's just basically at least 80% of all of it. Um, he should do a video on narcissism. It would be hilarious because, uh, um, yeah, that would really, uh, shine a light on the reality of, uh, his character. It say that forever con man says that maybe you should go on his channel or maybe that's where you're from. And maybe that's why you left a stupid comment. Maybe you're a fanboy of Huey slash Mark. Yeah, I don't know what he thinks he's gaining by this. I'm not a fan of, um, you know, forever con man or forever conscious research Mark, Huey, whatever his name is. I mean, you know, he's a vegetarian. That's okay, um, you know, for him, I guess. I'm not going to judge him on that. But he did have a uh, vegan skeptic on his channel once. And they were basically, you know, well, not so much Mark, but uh, vegan um, skeptic. He was, you know, he was really bashing it, you know, and, uh, you know, like they were saying like, oh, you know, the meat companies, you know, they're in bed with big pharma. And it's like, you know, everyone's in big bed with uh, everybody's in bed with big pharma. So really a stupid uh uh, stupid uh, live stream that they did, or well, they don't do live streams, but it was like a video, or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm not into that channel at all. I mean, that was a channel that I I came across, you know, when I got into the this whole 
um, soul recycling topic. This was something, you know, this is one of the first people you see. They're the gatekeepers. I don't know how deep it goes. It probably goes pretty deep. Um, and forgive me, you know, right away I, I was skeptical. I was skeptical of Howdy. Um, all I had to do was, you know, see that he was on a certain channel uh, in doing an interview, a channel with 100,000 subs. And, you know, I knew the topics they were talking about just based on the title and everything. And some of the videos he was doing, I just knew right away that Howdy was, you know, probably, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the shill word or whatever, you know, shill, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, controlled opposition, you know, just gatekeeping. Um, but I was new, you know, and I was trying to find new people that were more, um, real. Mark slash forever con man. I don't know if you know who I mean. Do you know who I mean? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Talking, you're talking about me again, aren't you? You're talking about me again, right? I'm just a grifter. I'm just a, I'm just, I'm just a grifter. Maybe that's your fucking hero, all right? Maybe that's why you're leaving stupid comments on my channel. Don't you no. think, you said to me, don't you think? Oh, I do think. That's why I'm making hundreds of videos. I didn't say, I do you, think I didn't say you don't think. You, I mean, you just don't know how to interpret things. About this stuff. So don't say to me, don't you think. Don't, don't you think? Say, before you don't you say. Don't you think. Like, give me a break, man. Like, who do you think you are? Post a comment? It's actually quite funny. It's like comedy. Like, you should put his uh, videos as like entertainment comedy or something. You dumbass. Oh, dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I'm so Don't hurt. be disrespectful to me on my channel. Don't be disrespectful to me on my channel. I mean, dude, like, grow up. Be an adult, man. You're, you're not a child anymore. Like, what the hell, man? You must have been really badly abused. And if you were, I am sorry about that. But you got to learn, man. You got to learn. You got to grow up. Uh, it's a tough world, and you got to... You got to take care of yourself and you got to treat people respectfully. If they're not respectful to you, I can see, you know, you push them back. But asking a question ain't being disrespectful, man. Dude. Think I'm going to tolerate that? I guess you haven't been paying attention. If you legitimately did watch 200 of my videos, you must have been, you know, watching them in your fucking sleep. But anyway, I wanted to make this video just to discuss a, a number of things. Had to get that off my chest. All right. I don't want to be. Is he done yet? Let's see. Near those people in this realm in real life. And I don't want to be near them when I get out of here, out of this matrix. I want to be so far away from them. So far away. Because all they've done here in my entire life is, is just be tedious and aggravating and annoying at best. At best. You know those annoying people that are always around you? That's what they're like. And it's usually from... Yeah, but you don't know somebody that's just commenting on your YouTube channel. You don't know them. You should give them the benefit of the doubt, especially when they ask good questions that you still haven't answered. But it's like, oh, it's like Mount Everest. It's like the Great Lakes and like oh, it's like running, you know, a, a sprint or whatever, like a 40-yard dash. Yeah. That's really, uh, yeah, that's really, uh, you know, likable to that. And yeah, I mean, he's not going to stop talking. Like, he pretty much will just keep talking about me and just complaining because he's, uh, he's sad, sad person. It's unfortunate. I hope you do better, Sandy Machine. I really do. And I, I respect your knowledge. Um, and I know you're just going to attack me. And I mean, I expect it because that's what you do. Um, if you could admit, you know, that, yeah. I get a little bit bothered by things that I shouldn't, you know, then I would, I would respect you for that, you know, and, um, that's just being a, a good spirit. From comment number one, right that's off the it. bat. That's the thing. Like he thinks it was comment number one. It wasn't, I commented the other day. I have all the screenshots. I mean, I have all the comments I can show them. I'll do a video about it. You know, there was a comment that I made about a week ago, week and a half ago where he said, I agree 100%. It was about the good things in this realm, you know, like the, the beauties, like sunsets, trees, 
um, certain aspects of nature, you know, not the animals eating each other alive, not that part, but the parts that are, you know, beautiful. And I think that's just an illusion. That's a deception that's to keep us sucked in. It'd be too obvious if things were just hell all the time. People would want to escape. They'd rebel. You know, that's, that's what this is all about. You got to make people comfortable, you know? I don't know, man. He's too much. He just, he's just so much smarter than I am. And uh, I don't know what to do with myself. I, I just, oh, I'm not worthy. They've had all that time to think of something to say and to, you know, be respectful. The manners, be intelligent, be articulate, not be disrespectful, rude, insulting. And they can't even come up with one comment, you know, and, I, and that comment's still there. I didn't delete anything. You know, YouTube hit a stupid comment from him. It's all there. Then yeah, he's YouTube deleted my comments four or five times. Yeah. After like the first comment, when I asked the question and he got all butthurt about it, didn't want to answer it, got all offended for some reason that any every comment after that pretty every comment after that with that channel no comments um went through so i i did go to another channel because i gave him the benefit of the doubt i'm like hey man i know you get trolled a lot i know things happen there's a lot of like you know people out there that just don't understand and they don't think before they they comment and sometimes it's really bad and i don't think my question was that bad I don't think it was bad at all. I take that back. It wasn't like that bad. It wasn't bad at all. It was a fair question. They didn't answer. Still hasn't answered it. Not to my satisfaction. but Mount Everest. Yeah. Okay. He switched accounts and posted another comment saying, oh, this is a reply to the comment that you removed. Hmm. Yeah, because I assumed that because you were, um, you were an just outrage. You were raging. You were like, how dare you ask me that? I'm paraphrasing, by the way, Sandy Machine. I'm paraphrasing. I don't have it right in front of me. But it was like, oh, don't you think? Like he was, you know, pointing back at me. Like, don't you think? You know, do you have do you have one original thought at all? You know, it's like, well, I can give you some, you know, if you, you know, I want to hear some of your thoughts. You know, you're the one who's a lot smarter, a lot more experienced, a lot older, you know, more life experience. You probably, you know, have had just like thousands of women in your life and I'm just lonely and um, you know, I'm not worthy. Like I, you know, I, I, I worship you, man. I worship you. So help me out. And you didn't want to help out. You want to get all upset and angry about somebody so unworthy to you. You know, I just, oh man, I just don't get it. It's insane. The sanity machine. It's great. You show that when you, falsely accuse me and show no trust in me and claim that you're on my channel watching hundreds of my videos. Well, what, what am I supposed to trust? What do you mean trust? What am I supposed to trust? You didn't say anything. You didn't explain. You never explained what you thought about ending the matrix and the challenges that that might be. And that the most logical question to ask, you know, the most logical conclusion to come to is that at the very least it would be extraordinarily difficult because at least in my lifetime, it hasn't ended. And there's probably people that have come before you, have come before myself and others who have access to this information this year, you know, 2023, 21st century, that before us, you know, probably had those same desires and those same inclinations and it didn't happen. So, you know, it's like, um, you know, waiting for Jesus to come back. You know what I mean? So basically... You know, Sandy Machine's Jesus. He's going to save us all. You know, so in like 30 years or so, well, maybe, you know, you know, I'm just saying like before I pass, you know, I should just, uh, you know, uh, hope that I'm going to be saved or something by someone else. I don't really understand it. I mean, it's just not realistic because it hasn't happened. I, I don't think, I don't believe that in my, the rest of my life, that all of a sudden this place is just going to turn off. I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't think anybody thinks that. And you're making no sense at all. You know, you're not, you know, you don't explain what your reasoning is behind, you know, your ambition. And it's okay. You know, I think we can escape, no question about it. But I also want to end this matrix. So why don't we share some ideas, you know? Why don't you share your ideas, your wisdom, your knowledge, all those years with some people instead of comparing it to Mount Everest? My God. To think of you after that when you're wrong. Think.
I'm going to think you're a paranoid idiot that jumps to false conclusions. That's what I see. And then you think you're going to judge my abilities or capabilities and what I can do outside of this matrix? You have no clue. Because some in this matrix... Really Dude, you can't even like... Oh, man. You can't even like, you know, hold your temper in. Like, like how are you going to... How are you going to fare in the astral realm, you know, when you, you're just so angry all the time and you accuse other people of doing things that you're doing yourself? I mean, you just sound like a little boy, a little boy, creepy boy. Realize we're starting to realize what we are from within it. So imagine what was going to come back to us when we get outside of it. Yeah. Imagine. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. There might be trouble. Okay. There might be a battle going on right now for all you fucking know. Right. And it's timeless out there. I've thought of that. So the ones that... Like, Why don't oh, you do man. a video on it instead of, you know, masonry? Like, just do a video on it, dude. Some, let's say somebody was at my level a thousand years ago, a thousand earth years ago. Quote, in quotations, earth, earth years. Because time is just a fucking fraud. It's just a setup. It's an illusion here. It's an illusion in this universe. We're in something that is eternal. And they set it up here with time, fake time. All right? Yeah, time is an illusion because the Sandy Machine was supposed to finish talking about me like 10 minutes ago. Come on, man. But beyond here, there might have been a guy like me, a being like me, that got out of this matrix a thousand Earth years ago and has been in battle for a thousand earth years, which might be one or two seconds out there or less. So why hasn't the matrix been destroyed? Maybe the battle's just, be, just fucking begun. Have you ever considered that? Instead of just thinking, just assuming, not thinking, sorry. Instead of you just assuming that this can't be destroyed, have you ever thought of other possibilities that are a little, little bit more complicated than, well, it's still here, so nobody's destroyed it yet, and it's been around for a long time, and, you, you know, because of the, the amount of time that they say you, the Earth is warm. I never, I never said that. So, I mean, he's just making assumptions, so he just thinks, because, like, you know, he'll think that, like, you know, if you say a certain comment or if you ask a certain question, that means you're like everybody else. I mean, it's just more complicated than that. You're too single, you're too simple-minded. Way too simple-minded. Over four billion years old. Because my slave, my masters told me that, and I'm a mental slave. I'm just a mental slave. And I really hate to, to do this to people, but, you know. You love it. You kind of deserve it after you insult me and you're fucking rude and stupid. And you accuse me falsely. You're stupid. So don't say that you don't like being treated like an idiot. Don't act like one then. Okay. Okay, moving forward, moving forward from that toothpaste fucking eater. Um, I love toothpaste. I drink it every day. Go back to NASCAR. Make some new NASCAR videos. <laughs> Go back. To Go NASCAR. back to your old hobby. Right. It looks like you stopped three years ago. Go do that again. Yeah, why do you think I stopped, dude? You don't think. Like, why do I, why should I have any respect for you, man? You're making no sense whatsoever, and you're crying like a baby, embarrassing yourself in front of... You're lucky you don't have that many subscribers. You're an embarrassment. Anyway, moving forward, Hopefully. I set up some playlists for videos on my channel. All right, we're going to stop there. So, yeah, Sandy Machine, I appreciate you, uh, you know, doing this video and giving me the ammunition to make a video about you. It's a lot of fun. You um, have a lot of content, a lot of uh, things that are going to be fun to make videos about. So uh, thank you so much. All right. Good night, everybody.